if your body is even the slightest bit cold, it has to burn calories to stay warm. So just by placing a bit of ice on your back, um, at least in, in strategically placed places like our vest, then you can extract calories from the body with minimal effort and minimal discomfort and force your body to burn, burn calories to replace that heat because your body has to stay at 98.6 to live, right? So. When you first put the vest on, the first few seconds, you're gonna think, holy cow, that's cold. But you get used to it very, very quickly. You, I mean, it, we recommend that you only wear it for about five minutes the very first time just to make sure because some people can have adverse reactions, a very small number of people. But for the most part, you put it on and you forget about it. The idea is your body must burn calories to replace the heat that's being used to melt the ice. So here's what the vest looks like on the inside. There is ice over the shoulders and down the back, down to the bottom of the back. So the, the placement of the ice is partly because of the locations of brown fat. It's in your shoulders and in your spine, across your back but also just because uh, your shoulders and your back have the fewest number of nerve endings in your skin. So it's where you feel the cold the least. Brown fat is actually the tissue that burns extra warm to heat up your blood as it flows through to keep you warm. So I first heard about the idea in about 2010. Um, I was reading a book called The 4-Hour Body by Tim Ferriss. It was a New York Times bestseller at the time. And one of his chapters chronicles the story of a NASA scientist named Ray Cronice. And Ray Cronice was experimenting with cold exposure to burn calories. And he found that he basically tripled his rate of weight loss by giving himself lots of cold exposure. He was actually going crazy with cold exposure. He was, he was uh, immersing himself in ice baths. He was drinking a gallon of ice water a day. He was sleeping without bed sheets. He went hog wild. And I thought, well, rather than all these crazy things like cold showers and ice baths, why not just build a piece of clothing with ice in it? And I looked around on the web, I couldn't find anything, but you know, I was a busy scientist, I didn't have time. I thought somebody at some point will create a vest with some ice in it. And about three years later, it was 2013 by that time, I, I had waited three years and still couldn't find any other ice vests designed for weight loss on the market. So I thought, you know, how hard can it be to put to make a vest full of ice? <clears throat> well, I, I, I totally underestimated it. It turns out to be very difficult to create a company that sells ice vests like this. Before the Kickstarter campaign, I was trying to get journalists interested in the idea. I managed to garner the interest of James Hamblin. He's the lead health editor of The Atlantic magazine, which is a fairly big magazine. And he wrote an article. Before that article, we were selling a few vests a month. When that article came out, we started selling a dozen or more vests a day. We actually sold out of all of our stock within a couple of weeks, and we started taking pre-orders. So in the matter of a couple of weeks, I got almost 500 people on my email list and who wanted to buy vests but couldn't because I was sold out. So I launched the Kickstarter campaign and then sent an email to my list of 500 people saying, oh, we've just launched a Kickstarter campaign. We're offering a discount, go buy go buy a vest at a discount at Kickstarter, and we sold 100 vests in a day on Kickstarter. And because of that, Kickstarter put us on the front of their own page, and that provided the visibility to really launch the Kickstarter campaign into the stratosphere. So I've tested it on myself, and my wife has also tested it. So I was wearing it three or four times a day, and I burned seven pounds in three weeks, but that was intensively wearing the vest. We actually recommend people only wear it twice a day, once in the morning, once in the evening. My wife also was wearing the vest uh, maybe once or twice a day, and she lost uh, an inch off her rib cage in three weeks. And I managed to find eight volunteers who were all kind of fitness aficionados, you know, fitness fanatics. So these are the kinds of people that I wanted who could rigorously test the effects of the vest. And they pretty much uniformly found that they burned about a, approximately a pound of fat a week wearing the vest twice a day, which is also consistent with the amount of calories that you'd need to melt the ice. So we recommend that people wear it on an empty stomach. So when you wear it on an empty stomach, that means your body is forced to burn fat rather than food you've recently eaten. It's not designed to keep you cold in the gym or to keep you cool if you're exercising. The idea is to extract heat from your body when you're at rest, doing nothing else. 
So in your downtime, when you're sitting in front of your computer or in your car commuting, you can burn extra calories by wearing the ice vest. We're also planning a more extensive objective clinical trial where we give them a bunch of vests, have them design the experiment to test it to make sure it does everything I say it does. I have something here that is an honest weight loss product that works. And I think it's gonna take the world by storm.